Good Wednesday morning, confession time. I struggle with the many visions in scripture regarding the end times. <laughs> Were it not for the many extra biblical resources available such as pulpit commentary and our own fire Bible, I would mostly scratch my head when reading the book of Ezekiel. Regarding Ezekiel 43, the commentary in the fire Bible says, quote, Ezekiel has a vision of God's glory, power, and love filling the temple again. While the Holy Spirit came from heaven on the day of Pentecost like the sound of a violent wind, Ezekiel describes the return of God's glory like the sound of many waters. The vision here in Ezekiel 43 was the second time God allowed Ezekiel a vision of the temple, and it's the third time Ezekiel sees the glory of God. We've seen this before in chapter 1 and chapter 10, a vision of God's glory filling the temple. In chapter 1, Ezekiel's in Babylon on the bank of the Chibar Canal when he has his vision of the throne sitting on a platform supported by cherubim and powered by wheels within wheels. In chapter 10, he has the same vision of the moving throne. Ezekiel sees the cherubim stop at the entrance of the east gate of the Lord's temple while the glory of God hovered above them. Then, chapter 11, we read, The glory of the Lord went up from the midst of the city and stood on the mountain that's on the east side of the city. But here in chapter 43, there's something different. There's no mention about the throne, no mention of the cherubim, or the wheels within the wheels. Listen. Then he led me to the gate, the gate facing east. And behold, the glory of the God of Israel was coming from the east. And the sound of his coming was like the sound of many waters, and the earth shone with his glory. And the vision I saw was just like the vision I had seen when he came to destroy the city, and just like the vision that I had seen by the Sebar Canal. And I fell on my face, and the glory of the Lord entered the temple by the gate facing east. The Spirit lifted me up and brought me into the inner court, and behold, the glory of the Lord filled the temple. In this vision, the glory of the Lord came into the temple through the eastern gate. There are details we're going to read tomorrow in chapter 44 that i got to point out right here. Then he brought me back to the outer gate of the sanctuary, which faces east, and it was shut. And the Lord said to me, This gate shall remain shut. It shall not be opened, and no one shall enter by it. For the Lord, the God of Israel, has entered by it. Therefore it shall remain shut. Only the prince may sit in it to eat bread before the Lord. He shall enter by way of the vestibule of the gate and shall go out by the same way. Then he brought me by the way of the north gate to the front of the temple, and I looked and behold, the glory of the Lord filled the temple of the Lord, and I fell on my face. Like I said earlier, I'm no eschatology expert. But reading the prophecies of the Old Testament and seeing their fulfillment in the Lord Jesus makes me say, Maranatha, come quickly, Lord. In chapter 43, the glory of the Lord enters through the eastern gate. In chapter 44, that gate is shut because the Lord entered through it. And then later, a prince will enter it and have a sacrificial meal and then leave. If we look in Zechariah, we read that the king enters on a donkey and he stands on the Mount of Olives. Listen to how these are all fulfilled in our Lord Jesus. In Matthew 21, Jesus descends the Mount of Olives on a donkey and he enters the temple. In Matthew 26, Jesus eats a sacrificial meal and then he exits the city and goes to the Mount of Olives. Ezekiel's third vision of God's glory returning through the Eastern Gate never mentions the throne, the cherubim, or the wheels within a wheel because that's not how the glory of God entered the city when Jesus came back to Jerusalem. God's glory entered on a donkey. Like I said at the start, I find it hard to follow the visions of the Old Testament prophets, but how they're fulfilled in Jesus is without question. Finish up this morning with Acts 1.11. Men of Galilee, why are you standing looking into heaven? This Jesus, who was taken up from you into heaven, will come in the same way as you saw him go into heaven. Come quickly, Lord, we pray. See you tomorrow.